you, you see all the young lads integrated and um, coming in during the summer and you, you saw this kind of round looking egg with, with uh, blonde tips on um, at the end and you're looking at them going, Jesus. Um, <laughs> and you're thinking, what the hell is this lad? <laughs> I hadn't really met anyone like Dennis beforehand. Um, you know, he had a, a pretty strange accent. I've never heard anyone speak like that before, firstly. Probably one of the things that stood out was just, even though he's a bit smaller than uh, some of the other guys, uh, height-wise and stuff like that, his strength was phenomenal. So I think, you know, it's, it's 10 years ago since he he made his debut. And, and uh, like, I think when he came into the team at that time, physically, even though he's a bit shorter, he was he was stronger or as strong as any of the other props. So I would have uh, I would have met Dennis back at um, you know uh, some of the rugby trials I think for the provincial trials. Um, very very talented player at that stage, and obviously he's gone on and um, you know used those talents now and to to, to reach two hundred caps now is just amazing achievement. First of all, um, as a player, he was such an, a competitor, um, a player that always. Um, was in 110%, gave his all and put the team first. Describing Dennis as a player, he, he was definitely a, a back trapped in a, in a props body. I think I'm, I'm sure he always wished he was a, a number 10, kind of pulling the strings for Connett. But, um, you know, because of that, they had, he had that attribute, but he was never afraid to get down and dirty in, in, in the front row and, and his skill set there was second to none. I remember propping behind him a lot in, in the scrum. And he actually made me a better player as well because he's obviously short and stocky. He's so low in the scrums and, and that was, you know, came to fruition a lot of times and winning a lot of scrums for us and a lot of penalties. You know, once I got to know him on the field, uh, really enjoyed playing with him. Um, obviously, my job in the scrum was um, made a lot easier playing next to someone like Dennis as well, who, um, you know, when he got in a, when he got in a strong um, scrummaging posi position, there's probably not a, not many people in the world who can handle what he can do. So he's an incredible jackler. He's got the um, <laughs> he's got the, the the short frame that helps him keep close to the ground and get down into positions that you know for a, for a big man as well. Um, once he gets in there, he's extremely hard to shift. So he loves Craig's way where he first started. I remember we did a Connor did a training session, open training session in, in Craig's. And you could just see the love pouring out from him, from himself to, to the supporters, but the supporters really welcoming back one of their own. And it, and it really showed how, how much of a proud Ross Common, Craig's, and more importantly, a Connacht man that Dennis was, or Dennis is. He's such a skillful uh, player. And, you know, for a prop to have those kind of skills, um, you know, it was pretty amazing. Uh, you know, some of the, some of the offloads, some of the passes that he can make um, are incredible. And, you know, one of the best jacklers I've seen over the ball, um, certainly who I played with anyway, he was the best jackler I, I, I've ever played with. So, um, you know, he, you know, three, four or five turnovers per game um, sometimes. So pretty amazing as a prop to be doing that. It's a funny dynamic when two people play in the same position, but um, I think there's always a, a mutual respect there between myself and Dennis. And uh, um, I'm not sure whether it was feigned, but, you know, it was always kind of, uh, from my point of view, um, you know, like he he was somebody who kind of uh, put massive pressure on me when when he came into the team first. For anyone to, to reach that amount of caps is is is, is a, a huge achievement. And I suppose now that I've stepped away from it, I understand probably a little bit more um, how how good of achievement it is. And for Dennis to do that in a prop uh, position as well is outstanding. Um, it's obviously a huge achievement for him and his family, and he should be immensely proud of it. To Dennis, um, well done. Uh, it was a fantastic achievement reaching 200 caps. You join a league club um, that not many players uh, reach and get to that club. You're a role model for the younger generation in Connacht and aspiring rugby players, and it's testament to your hard work. So well done and best of luck.